Do you find yourself defaulting to boring old ground beef or even chicken on taco night? Well, guess what? That ends today. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make skirt steak tacos. These tacos are super quick and super easy. One reason being, we're not gonna worry about marinating it. We are just gonna treat it with some good old salt and pepper. But before we get to that, I'm gonna have the skirt steak hanging out on the counter because we want it to come to about room temperature before cooking it. You never wanna cook any meat straight out of the fridge. It will not cook evenly. So since we're not marinating the steak today, we're really gonna rely on our toppings to amp up the flavor of these tacos. I have my favorite quick pickled red onions. I have a tutorial on how to make these. I'll link the video up here. Our cotija cheese, one of my personal favorites for tacos. You can use whatever you want. And then we're going to make a cilantro lime sour cream. Okay, to make the cilantro lime sour cream, I have about half a cup of sour cream here. And we're gonna add a large handful of fresh cilantro. Okay, this might actually be too much cilantro for the amount of sour cream we have. And, <laughs> oh jeez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the steak in the microwave because you can't be trusted. Okay, like I said, this may actually be a little too much cilantro for the amount of sour cream we have, but that's okay because we'll use some of it as an extra garnish, no problem. So we'll go ahead and add most of the cilantro. Limes are next. Like I said, we are going to put a lot of lime juice in here. Two limes worth. Okay, lastly, just a large pinch of kosher salt and stir that all together. That's it. Give it a quick taste to make sure that the seasoning is right. Woo! Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, since we had the quick pickled onions already made, we got our cilantro lime sour cream, our cotija cheese, we can move on to the steak now. Toppings, done, check. Next step is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the steak is totally dry. If there's any moisture on the steak, you will not get a good sear on it. So I have it lined with paper towels, but now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the top is really nice and dry as well. great. The steak's going to travel with me for now on. Okay, now that the steak is totally dry, we're going to go ahead and season it liberally with salt and pepper. Make sure you're using kosher salt. Now that our skirt steak is well seasoned with salt and pepper, I'm going to sear it in the cast iron skillet. I have it heating over a high heat with just a little bit of neutral oil. I'm using avocado oil today. Uh, and then I will sear the steak on either side uh, for about three to four minutes.
Okay, so once our steak is seared, um, you don't want to cut into it right away. You definitely want to let it sit for a couple minutes. Once you are ready to cut, it's really important that we cut it the right way. We want to cut it against the grain. If we don't do that, no matter how well you cook it, it'll taste super chewy, overcooked, people won't be happy, your tacos will be ruined. So, very important step. Yeah, I bet you want some of this, don't you? Don't you? Don't even think about it. Let's do a little taste. It's so good. So good. You can't beat that. You really can't. Okay. We're basically done. We're in the home stretch. All we gotta do is assemble. I'm gonna go grab my tortillas. Okay, I have my corn tortillas. As you can see, I just blackened them a little bit on top of the stove. Uh, you can do it under the broiler or you could not do it all. You can just stick them in the microwave to heat them up a little bit. But nobody wants a tortilla straight out of the package. You gotta warm them up somehow. Heard? Heard. Okay. Time to assemble. All right, we're going to start with some of our cilantro lime sour cream right on the bottom. Be liberal with it. Second. Little cotija cheese action. And lastly, our gorgeous quick pickled red onions, my favorite condiment of all time. And because we have some extra, we'll do another little sprinkling of our cilantro. Are you kidding me? Look how good that looks. Do you see that? Guys, this took, what, only 20 minutes? It's just so good. It's so good. All right, now that you've seen how quick and easy these tacos are, promise me, next time it's taco night, you're not gonna default to your boring old ground beef or chicken or whatever. You're gonna try out this skirt steak. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Catch y'all next time, guys. See ya.